Hey, what's up guys? It's Gage from ARG, today we're going to be talking about Toon Buster Blader, which is actually a card being released in Breakers of Shadow, which is coming out again next year. So we got a while to wait, but this is a spoiler from it for the OCG. And I gotta say, I'm not impressed by it. You could probably already tell what it does just because you know what Toons do in general. But I'm going to read it over for you guys that are tuning in to watch, and we're just going to talk about it real quick. We have Toon Buster Blader. It's an Earth Warrior Toon, level 7, 2600 attack, 2300 defense. This card gains 500 attack for each Dragon-type monster your opponent controls or is in their graveyard, and it cannot attack the turn it is summoned. While you control Toon World and your opponent controls no Toon monsters, this card can attack directly. This is very, very mediocre, if you couldn't tell already. It's not... I, don't get me wrong. Konami has given ridiculously good support to Toons and um, Dragons of Legends 2 and everything, Mimi Cat, uh, Comic Can, such good support. But now, at a time where they could really use some better legacy support moving forward in the sets, like, oh, uh, you know how after they did it with Hidden Arsenal, where Constellar's got all this awesome support, Constellar's and Evil Swarm's got all this great support, and then next set, I, I think it was Tachyon Galaxy, dropped a shell on them with Kirkion and... Uh, Constellar, the other fella, I don't know what it is. I'll, I'll throw it up the up there in the corner below. Uh, I, I can't think of the name right now. I wanted to say Omega, but that's not right. Uh, but it just getting ridiculously good support to really tie the archetype together after that in a core set was really awesome. But now we have this, a Toon Buster Blader, which it could have been literally any other Toon monster. Like, I, I, its stats are pretty great and everything, but it can't attack the turn summon, so that doesn't even matter. And it's 500 attack for each dragon type monster your opponent controls or is in the graveyard. We're not in a dragon type meta right now. Like, if it was dragon world format, great, that's awesome. But yeah, that's not a thing anymore. And unless you're facing an actual dragon archetype deck, you will never find probably maybe outside one dragon in your opponent's graveyard if they synchro into a, a dragon or something or XYZ into a dragon by accident. Well, not even by accident, just throughout the game. So at, at most, you might see a 3100 Buster Blader. But that's it. So I, I guess it's neat for the people to see a tune version of their iconic monsters, like the uh, iconic Buster Blader. That's neat, I guess, and everything. But if if we're looking at it at a competitive standpoint, which I realize not everything's at a competitive standpoint, this card is absolute trash. Like I would love to have a different tune monster, like a tune Wing Dragon Raw, a tune Obelisk Tormentor, something really awesome for tunes to put them right over the edge. Like that's exactly what we need. We have all the tools. It's just the deck is really relying on what your opponent does. Like, I, oh, I can snatch whatever you make and everything, which is neat, but as far as my own support and my own cards do, they don't do too much. So if you play ridiculously good cards, I get ridiculously good cards. If you play extremely mediocre cards, I get pretty mo mediocre cards. So the thing is, is they need more just generic good tune monsters to be able to have their own aggression to apply because they can't do it without your opponent doing anything good. So I, in the future, I would like to hopefully, I think it might be a little bit too late to be asking it now, but I would like to see some better tune monsters, not a Buster Blader because this card's trash. So I, that would be something I would really hope to get eventually. As far as this goes, this is really disappointing and everything, but uh, I'm sure it's a really nice thing to have if you're a tune collector, I suppose, or something, I don't know. If you're a non-competitive tune player, this is something fun to add to your deck, but if you're a competitive player and you're looking to try to make tunes work, this isn't getting you anywhere, so yeah. If you guys liked the video, be sure to like the video, thumbs up the video, how much that you enjoyed the video. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to buy or sell products, if you want to attend hell events, and if you want to read articles from the toppest of top players, AlterRadiGames.com is your place to go check out. Be sure to like our Facebook fan page and subscribe to our Twitch stream if you haven't already. But as always, I thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Catch you guys next time. Gage from ARG, signing out.